All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people of us of freedom all over the world. Wherever you're joining us from today, you're highly welcome to this wonderful YouTube platform that gives you only quality news and information on all the activities happening in Biafra territory. So, my brothers and my sisters, and all of us of freedom, please stay tuned as we continue to give you the back to back news and informate as it is hot this um, evening. Without wasting much of your time, we are still on this issue of the Chief of Defense Staff versus and the Prime Minister Simon Epa. And waiting be the update for that matter. The update for that matter be say the Prime Minister through immediate team don't um, don't challenge um, the Chief of Defense Staff in the person of uh, Emmanuel Musa. I think no, is it Emmanuel or Christopher Musa? But whatever he. The Prime Minister has challenged them, um, Musa, you know, to a contest. If you sure for you, enter Finland. If you know, say he's sure for you. I want to matter what we say, what they tell you on this um, issue of waiting they happen for Biafran land. Do not forget them um, also that a lot of things, you know, has gone down the drain in the past few weeks. And a lot of expositions has been made, or rather, has been done by the Prime Minister Simon Epa in clarifying to the world that truly our people are being massacred on a daily basis. And what are these expositions? Do not forget. Do not forget that realistically, we have lost a lot of able-bodied men, innocent youth, on a daily basis. Look at what happened in... Um, Abba and the, the event that happened in Obikaba, which we are hearing that those you know that um those who committed the offense have actually been captured by the um by the Nigerian police, I think so, by the zoological police. They've been captured. Now it has clarified to the fact, in as much as they are trying to link the attack to um what to, they are trying to link it to the indigenous people of Biafra and the Biafra Liberation Army. But the reality is that we know that most of the attacks that we are seeing in Biafra land are orchestrated by these um, politicians. Let me tell you what they are trying to do. These political talks or these evil politicians use this political talk to perpetrate you know, all kind of atrocities, all under the guise of um, indigenous people or Biafra. So when they commit their atrocities, they bring it down to, to the Prime Minister Simon Epa. And at the end, they are trying to, you know, tag the, indig the indigenous people of Biafra and the Biafra struggle a bad name. Apart from the fact that um, the Prime Minister Simon Ekwa has already given order to the, um, the zoo police, the zoo military, and um, the zoo non-state actors that they should leave Biafran land. We know the reason. Imagine that the issue of, um, of um, security is being taken care of by the Biafran Liberation Army. Nobody will be hearing all this kind of... Um, you know, insecurities in the southeastern part of the country. Things will be organized. The truth is that we know our land. And that is why the best people that can defend our land is the Biafran Liberation Army. But meanwhile, on the video you are about to watch, heavy Woto Woto Bruma, because and the Prime Minister Simon Epa, in his fearlessness, has challenged the chief of defense staff enjoy this video his mouth and then uh, put uh, why he is crying <coughs> and then he's going if it's possible let somebody carry him if possible let uh, a, a chimpanzee <laughs> you know about the victim no no running to united nations running to eu <laughs> okay, okay. Please make that uh, 
cartoon and then we're going to make it go viral. Please, um, I am suggesting that and I think it will make a lot of sense. Okay, now, our Prime Minister is actually responding to Musa here. Uh, let's, let me play the video before I will play, I will read the update from our Prime Minister. Let's play the video. The union is the one supporting democracy and this is happening someone ever. He is in Finland. The Finnish government are giving him all the support and he's doing what he's doing. Comments he's making. People are being killed and nothing is being done. And this is democracy. If the European Union is the one supporting democracy and this is happening and they are not taking action, then they don't mean well for Nigeria. We have said that in clear terms. We need to diplomatically find means of getting him out of whatever it is that he's doing. He must be arrested. He must be prosecuted. Look at it from the other way. Assuming he is in Nigeria and he's doing that to the Finnish government, you think the European Union will allow that happen? They definitely will not. So why are they allowing him to do what he's doing? Someone Epa. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's it. And then I'm going to read um, this challenge from our PM to the Anon Pama of uh, Chief of Defense uh, Staff. You are in democracy. You are in democracy and terrorists, Nigeria Army, under your command, are laying siege on Biafra soil, kidnapping and buying Biafrans every day. What type of democracy is that? Do you see military checkpoints in Europe? Do you see anywhere in Europe where their military are the one buying the civilians? Tell this moron that if any country in Europe do what Nigeria is doing to a section of their country, like in the case of Biafra, Biafra people, buying and enforcing disappearances of their young men, that country will not last 48 hours. But his organization has committed these crimes for years on challenge, and he is still talking trash. Now here comes the challenge. I, Master Simon Ekba, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, I challenge Musa to come to Finland and face me man to man man to man musa can you hear that if you are a man musa if you are a man the prime minister of the biafra republic government in exile is challenging you today you can see it on his twitter handle i did not formulate it this is prime minister simon Epa on his twitter handle he posted this just a few minutes ago a few hours ago so to say i challenge you i challenge him to come to Finland and face me man to man. Man to man. And then that challenge goes there. And another question I want to ask this uh, intellectual, Otondo, of a Musa is this. Otondo, Musa is saying, we need to, we need to, uh, uh, let me play that video so that I will use his words. I don't like to use another person's word. Eh? I don't like to use my own word on what he said. Let me play this video again and use his exact word. Let's go there. Listen to the video. Okay, I need to project it first. Okay, I project it first. Uh, listen to the video. I will play it. While I'm playing it, please tell me in the comment section very quickly if it is playing, so that if it's not playing, I will quickly revert immediately. Okay, listen. Someone Epa. He is in Finland. The Finnish government are giving him all the support and he's doing what he's doing. Comments he's making. People are being killed. And nothing is being done and this is democracy if european union is the one supporting democracy and this is happening and they are not taking action then they don't mean well for nigeria we have said let me analyze something quickly here he said this is democracy is nigeria a democracy is nigeria a democracy ah is nigeria a democracy i did not know so democracy nigeria really okay then he now said if he said it's a democracy if this is a democracy and then finland the uh, european union are allowing him to do this thing that he's doing then they don't mean well for nigeria now the question is does any human being dead or alive mean well for nigeria does anybody mean well for nigeria help me to answer that question does anybody mean well for nigeria Nigeria does not mean well for herself. So how can anybody mean well for Nigeria? Have you not heard the statements that has always been said, may Nigeria never happen to you? One of my friends was talking to me from uh, Kotonou. You know, the fellow have left the zoo and found, uh, the, uh, they found themselves in Kotonou with their family. And then uh, they were telling me that oh, we are happy. And then, uh, thank God, Nigeria did not happen to me before I left. 
So these are not people that believe in Biafra. These are people that are that uh, they are from the from side of the Zoology Republic. They said, thank God that Nigeria did not happen to them. Everybody, nobody that means well for Nigeria. Because every Nigerian knows that Nigeria does not mean well for them. So how can they mean well for Nigeria? How do you expect European Union to mean well for you when you already do not mean well for your own citizen? You don't mean well for your citizen. So how can anybody mean well for Nigeria? Let me now say, let me make this statement. Anybody that ever means well for Nigeria, that person, you don't go ever better for her. If there's anything you are doing and you mean well for Nigeria, when in the recess you know that Nigeria does not mean well for you, then you are nothing but anwafia and you don't go better for you. How can you mean well for somebody that doesn't mean well for you? Somebody that has done everything to destroy you, that has never done anything to save you, to make your life better. You want to mean well for that person? Somebody that at every given opportunity, they want you to cry. They want you to sorrow. You want to be well for them? Eh? Okay, let me continue. There's something where I'm somewhere I'm going to before I had to stop that to analyze. Please, if it is not talking, let me know very, very sharp so that I will revert immediately. All right, let's go. The European Union is the one supporting democracy, and this is happening, and they are not taking action. They for Nigeria. We have said that in clear terms. We need to diplomatically find means of getting him out of whatever it is that he's doing. He must be arrested. He must be prosecuted. Look now. Otondo, <laughs> Otondo Musa. He said we need to do whatever we can to get him arrested, to get him through diplomatic way. We need to. Now the question to Musa is: All this we need to. We need to. Who is going to need? Who needs to? Who? We oui. then what are you waiting for? Can somebody ask Musa what is it you are waiting for? Do you need to come and tell us that you need to take a diplomatic step? Is it the people that are watching you on social media that will take the step for you? Who will take the step? We need to we need to do diplomatic, we need to go everywhere. We need to arrest who are the we Musa? Go ahead and arrest him. Go now. So why are you always coming online crying? We need to. I have been complaining. We need to. Is it the population that will help you? Eh? Okay, now, many of the people in that country, they cannot travel. They have no access to visa. Musa, I believe you can get visa. Make an attempt. Go to the Finland embassy. Get a visa. Go to Finland. The prime minister has thrown a challenge to you. Find your way to Finland. Can you wait for your way to Finland and confront him man to man? You are a military man, eh? With muscle. You have done exercises. You are strong. You feel carry gun. You feel shoot. You are a gallant man. If I am not mistaken, then find your way to Finland and face to face. <laughs> then when you enter Finland, you tell them, ah, we have been complaining. We have been speaking to you people. You are not doing something. Now I am here to meet Simon. He has challenged me. Bring the evidence of his challenge. Bring evidence of Marzi Simon Eckler's challenge. The evidence is there. Let me show you again, in case you don't know. Musa, here is your evidence. Here is your evidence. Look at it on the line here. Can you see? My mouse is on it. Can you see it? I challenge him to come to Finland and face me man to man. This is our Prime Minister's challenge to you. Today, today, the 14th day of June, Prime Minister, Masa Moneta, Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Ezra, threw a challenge to you. You have the evidence. Now, take this evidence, get yourself a visa, or even if you don't need a visa, maybe you have a diplomatic pa diplomatic passport, which Jesus can do for you, fly down to Finland and then tell them, look, I have evidence here. Simon Epper challenged me. And then when you get there, you will now agree on the terms, on your challenge. If it is a boxing, you people, two of you, will enter ring and then fight. <laughs> Let me see whether you will survive one round. Just one round, whether you will survive it. Okay, okay. I'm going to take you out now because you will show you. I'm going to bring in my people here, and uh, we have three of you in the room. I'm going to use two, two minutes each. Two, two minutes each. Exactly two, two minutes. Let's go from the top. Marzi Chooks, please go ahead. You have two minutes. Uh -huh. One, 
I thank you so much for your job. Since all this why I was out of network, I'm yeah. sorry for not coming in. Even I think last night I tried all I can to Please come don't in. waste don't waste your two minutes. There's there's no problem even if I waste it. My voice is okay for me. And okay. uh, I thank our beer friends that are that are gingering what we are doing in whichever way. Let let us bring our money so that we will continue pushing on. My brother, push on. Our God is, is in your side. And so it will continue. Let me tell you, my brother, you see this, this man is under threat. You know that, that evil that he committed in his place yeah. by slaughtering those flannies. Yeah. Uh, that is the problem these people have. When they commit them, when they commit them, they will continue using them in order for them to speak to the hearing of the people. Ah, yeah, yeah. Because he's a slave, he's under threat. He mm. has no other job to do than this. So, and he is doing this in order for him to free himself. Any mm. day he has opportunity to run to K K Kotonu, eh? <laughs> he cannot come back again. Mark my word. This man, this man is under threat. <laughs> you, you see, you said that he's crying like a baby that was carrying uh, by by bamboo. Yeah. Uh, babu or whatever let me tell you it's not his his neck his neck is have you seen uh how goat or cow entered somewhere to eat something in his head forced to enter to in between two sticks that's yeah. what is holding this man there's no way he cannot help himself and i'm saying this wholeheartedly this mm -hmm. this people that you see that are ranting master simon master simon 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 this simon this they have it the in um uh but I will go and see but I will go and see you know they can never escape it they can never escape it they are the one who 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 put Nigeria in this because if that they were advising the people that were sending them message this thing will never the people that are sending them message we know that the people that they are dealing with are human beings like them where they yeah. continue because of the money that they are giving them they continue to put Nigeria in grave every day, every day. Now wow. they have entered. Thank mm. you all. Thank you, mm. brothers. Wow, wow. This is a revelation. Or do you know that it is possible that they may be holding either the wife of Musa or somebody in his family, maybe his parents or something. There is something they may be holding because we remember our PMS that uh, he sent in people to go and buy some flanny people in Kaduna. He's having his people to be you know, what, what you want against Fulani. So maybe they have found out and they told him, if you do not deliver Simon Eta to us, then this and this will happen to you. So he is under a trap. Oh, chai! He is under a trap. Carlos chat, you are you, everywhere now you day here. You are, how many of you are in this room? I don't know how many of you. Let me try this last one that came. All right, Carlos chat. Let me hear you. Speak. Carlos Chat, are you there? Yes. Carlos Chat, are you here. there? Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Good morning. You have two minutes. Good morning, bam, bam, bam. Go ahead. You yes, have two I'm minutes. here. Bam, bam. Go ahead. You have two minutes. You have two minutes. Go Let's ahead. After singing, bam. cry, cry, baby. I want to see Simon Lepa. Cry, cry, baby. I want to see Savalepa. Shame. May they give Musa breast, make him suck. He's a mumu man. He's a mumu man. See, who the Savalepa the show in the in. See, Musa is the. He's just crying, weep because to do. He has. I think I thought they have muscle. Let them go there. Yeah. I'll see the one that passed BRT. He's crying mm. they should bring some Alepa. Then he's calling European Union. Is he not yeah. the same European Union that say release them the canoe? Do they obey? Yeah. Is yeah. he not the same European Union? Yeah. He's crying all the time. They turn blind eye. It's now that he knows that European Union they are patcher. They never see anything. Yeah. They don't know anything. Thank European you. Union is praying for them to crumble, to fall for ground because. They, 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 they are very, very stupid. In fact, stupid, stupidity, I don't even know to, what to compare with. Look at the way he's crying. A whole <laughs> of, man of officer. Do you know that? There, you. Was one, there, is, there is one comment he made. 
there is one comment he made eh, that that after this uh, problem, after this uh, after this problem, that if they come back to the barrack, there is no barrack to contain those people. It is why that Musa is crying because Musa know that if Biafra go and all their soldiers eventually go back to their states, they don't have any place to stay. That is why he's crying. You don't want Biafra to go. And unfortunately to them, they came very, very late. They came, he was saying it at the national TV also. I don't know whether you have watched that, uh, that interview. He said that Ooh. if after everywhere is peace, if there is peace everywhere, that if all the soldiers come back, that there's no barracks to go. Your, your network is bad. Your network is bad. I'm just managing to hear you. Thank you very much, Carlos Chat. Thank you very much. We are managing and it's fluctuating. Thank you. But I like that part where you sang, cry, cry, baby. I want to see some on Cry, cry, baby. Nah, nah. <laughs> I right, Peters, please grab the mic. You have two minutes. Grab the mic, brother. Don't be too good at it. Don't be too good at it. I'm surprised. Why is he always running to the media, not running to the press and be crying and confessing? <laughs> Maybe he has not had an idea. Or oh, is he is he is he sucking a uh, breast with the with the what what a bottle you know you drank? This man is very very funny. <laughs> funny. They are funny. Okay, I want to, uh, but I'm sorry, I want to ask you. You are crying to people for them to arrest. Uh, yeah, this is not clear. Oh. Hello? Am I, am I coming out loud? Yeah, come out again. You say what? I think this man, this man is funny. Uh, uh, maybe he's run out of idea or something. Why is he crying to the, the, the Nigerians or senators for them to arrest him on Ekba Bank to Nigeria? For what purpose now? I just want to ask. What did this man do to them? Or do to him in particular? Exactly the question that some of them are not asking. What did Simon Ekpa do? Simon Ekpa is far away in Finland. Finland. And then they are accusing him of the troubles in the zoo. I don't understand. He's not with them in Nigeria. He's not with them in Nigeria. You look at Simon Ekpa. Look at the Simon Ekpa they're looking for. He's dancing in his house. Look at him. He's dancing. He's dancing in his house. He's not in Nigeria. He's just dancing. He's just enjoying his dancing. Can you see him? He's dancing. And you are there. You are military. You have all the soldiers. You have all the tank. You have all the power. You have all the you have everything. And then you, are, you want to go and catch a man that is dancing in his room. <laughs> it surprised me. It surprised me because it's, to me, it's funny. It's funny. Maybe we need, we need to make it's, our, it's, our, our next topic. You know? Yes, you, want to uh, go and catch, you want to go and catch a man that is dancing that in his room. Look, dancing in his own house. Dancing in his room. And it's not in this country, per se. No. My brother, I beg. <laughs> I want to give one that chance to talk, Nico, because it just it all baffles me. It baffles me. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you. Eh? Look at a man that is just enjoying himself, playing some music. You know, I don't want to play that music there because that music gets more copyright. But you know, you people have seen this video. Look at him. He's just dancing in his room, dancing. 